everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Sunday, May 26th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Uh, first quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a try. Real cool way to give it that trial run. You click on the link below the video and you get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account, and all you got to do to get started is click on the link below the video. Uh, we'll get to all of our stuff, including our free pick in just a moment. But before we jump into what happened yesterday, what's going on today, just want to say a sincere thank you to any military veterans or active service members who are watching these videos today in this entire week and Memorial Day weekend, obviously. And uh, a sincere, sincere thank you for all you've done. I come from pretty much a military family. I mean, my dad and uncles served in World War II. My dad was actually on a tin can, as they called him, a cruiser uh, in the Pacific in the Navy. And my got a most brother's a lifer. He did 22 years in the Navy uh, before he decided to retire. I grew up a, about a six, seven minute drive north of SAC headquarters in Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, it's just been a big part of our life. And again, you know, what you have done allows us to do what we do all throughout the country uh, each and every day. So again, a sincere thank you uh, to our veterans and to our current service members who might be watching this video on Memorial Day weekend. Let's jump into what happened yesterday, what's happening today, and all that good stuff. Yesterday, had a losing day yesterday, including that Atlanta Braves loss with the top play in baseball. Uh, they went into the bottom of the eighth at St. Louis with the lead and could not hold on to that lead. They gave up a four spot in the Cardinals final at bat, including a pinch hit home run that did us in. Unfortunately, when you get into that eighth or ninth inning, you're hoping to be able to cash that ticket if you got the lead, and we just couldn't do it yesterday. Uh, as far as what's going on today in baseball, I've got one play. It is a heavy hitter, as we like to call them. It is a daytime side on Sunday. We've done well over the years with our daytime dominators on Sundays. Go grab that Sunday morning DocSports.com as we look to land right back in the win column. Had a real nice run going the last few days, including that big six-star winner on Friday night, but we gave some back on Saturday with the Atlanta Braves. Let's get right back in the win column. Look to make it 3-1 and one the last four days with this daytime side on Sunday in baseball. Also involved in NASCAR, uh, as we told you we would be. You can go over there right now, grab the NASCAR matchup. I only ended up on one NASCAR matchup, but I like it quite a bit. In fact, it is a big five-unit play, this NASCAR matchup on Sunday. And we've swept our last two races in NASCAR with our matchups. And we're going to look to make it three in a row. Do it again Sunday. Uh, again, that play is available right now. If you happen to be tuning into this video during the course of the day on Sunday, still got a chance to go grab it. The Coca-Cola 600 does not go until 6.10 p.m. Eastern Time, 3.10 p.m. Pacific on Sunday. So a lot of time to go grab that five-unit NAS uh, NASCAR matchup. And we look to make it a sweep over the last three races that we've been involved in. As far as the NBA, of course, game one of the finals takes place on Thursday. Golden State at Toronto. We are on a 42-23 and 23 NBA Finals run going all the way back to 2008 when the Boston Celtics were able to uh, win the championship with Pierce over the Lakers. It started then and it's lasted right up until uh, last season going into this season. 42-23 and 23 run with the NBA Finals will be involved in game one on Thursday. As far as the line is concerned, Golden State's a one-point favorite. As I cut this video in Game 1, they're minus 300 to win the series. And what we saw, I thought, in that Toronto-Milwaukee series, I think the better team... Uh, actually lost that series and by better team no disrespect to Toronto because Toronto was the better team over the final three or four games of that series but if you power rate these two teams on a neutral court Milwaukee would have been the favorite obviously when you saw where the point spread was when Milwaukee was at home as opposed to when Toronto was at home you get the picture uh, but they out coached I mean I'm going to tell you right now coach Bud did not do a good job Budenholzer for the Milwaukee Bucks because Toronto switched to a zone defense after losing those first two games and you really never saw an adjustment been made by the Milwaukee Bucks, whether it be from the coaching staff or something didn't compute between the coaches and the players. It certainly wasn't carried out on the floor. I talked about Brooke Lopez. He needed more shots from the deep perimeter. Starts the first quarter, takes a couple of threes. Miritich takes a couple of long distance shots in the opening quarter, quarter and a half. You're thinking, wow, this team is going to finally make that adjustment. They build a 15 point third quarter lead and then fall apart. In that fourth quarter, I tell you, Coach Budenholzer said in that post game presser, the Greek freak has some roof 
room for improvement. He certainly does, and he's certainly better because he's a dominant player. But we saw in the fourth quarter again, all of a sudden, a lot of aimless wandering with his dribbling and not getting the ball to the open uh, to the open shooter. Uh, part of that has to do with the defense that's played by Kawhi Leonard in Toronto. But again, uh, just did not come through for this team. Hats off to the Toronto Raptors. Hats off to the adjustments made in this series by Nick Nurse being able to win four straight games. Kawhi Leonard, uh, all the players for Toronto just came up to play, played exactly the way they made the adjustments on the bench, and they got the win. Now they're the big series underdog, even though they're the home favorite, excuse me, even though they home home court advantage over Golden State, they are a big series dog with Golden State laying minus 300. More on the series and all that kind of good stuff as we get closer to Thursday. NHL, of course, starts on Monday and will be in action Monday's game one. We'll talk more about that on Monday's video. Wanted to mention real quickly uh, before I get to uh, today's free pick also uh, that when we we will jump right back into our NFL thumbnail sketches on Monday with the Philadelphia Eagles. We did the Dallas Cowboys in case you're interested and didn't see it on Saturday's video. We'll have the Eagles and their chances, what we think their chances are for the over-under wins total for the upcoming season on Monday's video. We should have that about 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific at the very latest. Let's get to our uh, free pick for Sunday. Daytime action. A bunch of big favorites on Sunday. Ridiculous in Major League Baseball just the way it sets up today. And this is kind of a big favorite, and it is the Chicago Cubs, but we like them to get the win here over Cincinnati. It'll be Roark against uh, Quintana. As far as Roark is concerned, his numbers haven't been bad this year. But what I don't like about him is when he goes on the road, he tends to walk hitters. He's got 10 walks in like 20 road innings. You do that against the Cubbies, you're probably going to get knocked around a little bit. Chris Bryant loves matching up against Tanner Roark, and I think they'll get to the uh, Reds pitcher in this particular game. Uh, as far as Quintana's concerned, he's put up real nice numbers. Look at some of the teams he's faced at home that he's been able to handle, including the Phillies, including the Dodgers, including the Cardinals way back in early May before the Cardinals began a bit of their swoon. He's just getting it done right now on the home bump, and we like him here. We think he'll get the offense he needs also to get the win for the Chicago Cubs. So our free pick, going to lay that price with the Cubs, with Quintana, over Roark. By the way, with Roark, they're on a 21-7 and run at home in their last 28. The Cubbies, the free pick. Don't forget about Sunday. We've got the big daytime side in Major League Baseball, the big five-unit play in NASCAR as we look to remain perfect with our NASCAR matchups over the past three weeks, including Sunday. All available Sunday morning, DocSports.com. All right, that's going to do it for us for today. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here Monday morning. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put Sunday in the win column.